Today we're going to be looking at a poncho. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Casualistic and hi to all my new subscribers. I've just hit over 300 subscribers, I can't believe it, so thank you everybody that's pressed that subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate for all of you, those whether you're one of my original subscribers that's been with me right from the start, or if you need one of my new ones, um, I just want to thank you all for uh, subscribing and hopefully, you know, you are enjoying the channel. Um, I've been getting good feedback, so uh, I really appreciate all the lovely comments that everyone's um, sent me. Um, just um, sort of a quick admin thing for those of you that won uh, my three competition winners for the giveaway. Uh, your parcels have been posted out today. I'm recording this on Wednesday, so it's a day later than I told you it would be. So apologies for that, but I haven't been very well. Um, so they're all on the way. So uh, for those, uh, Rose, you're in the Philippines, so um, I have no idea how long it's going to take. And Megan in uh, America, obviously it may take... Um, couple of weeks at least I would have thought but uh, they are on their way uh, Mary you should have yours in a couple of days so she's in the UK so it was a little bit easier <laughs> it's a very expensive postal trip that was <laughs> um, anyway so um, I have been sort of beavering away for two weeks on uh, this project which I'm going to be sharing with you which is a poncho um, I have a little confession, it's just between you and me, just between you and me, nobody else. I haven't done tired me ends in yet, um, but um, I'm losing the daylight, so rather than it being perfect, I do have a perfectionism thing that I struggle with, so this is, a, this is me pushing myself by doing something that's not completely finished. It is finished, but not with the ends tied in, because I normally like to tie them in before I share them on camera. Um, I'm losing the daylight so this is why I'm filming it now and not later on. Um, so the poncho is called uh, the Perfect Fall Poncho. It's by the Mowgli blog. Well, it's mowgliblog.com. Um, obviously like usual I will put the links down in the description box. Um, the printer didn't print it off terribly well but that's kind of what it looks like. So you can do it all one colour. Give you an idea what it's like. And that's what it's called for those of you who can't understand my accent. Um, now the yarn that, me being me, never use the yarn that it tells me to use, do I? Because I can never afford it. So the yarn it um, actually required was Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool, um, which was um, basically equivalent to an Aran yarn here in the UK. Um, it required four skeins of that, which was 1,700 yards. Um, I don't know what the yardage was on some of these skeins that I've got, but um, I've had to use a lot more than four skeins. So, I'll just to give you a heads up, if you do change the yarn, be prepared that you'll need a lot more than what it says on the pattern. Um, so, I used... Whoop! Yarn nearly went flying then. Um, six millimetre crochet hook. Just make sure I've got that right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I've been doing that a lot on camera recently. I do apologise. It means I'm comfortable with you. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> it's because I've been dashing about. It's, it's all got... <laughs> um, yeah, so... 6mm hook completely thrown myself there. <laughs> so, the yarn that I've used... Um, you would have seen all these yarns before, believe it or not. So, the main colour... So, this is one very hard to fit on camera so basically what you do is you're making two rectangles um, this is what I'm classing as the front side as you can see I've sort of done a, a striped job and then on the back or you could wear it the other way around doesn't really matter um, there are some little stripes but um, it's not as pronounced as uh, striped as it is oh dear it's hard to manoeuvre as it is on the front so the front and the back are basically completely identical uh, stitch wise and then you stitch them together at the top um, 
you do one side and then you do you leave a hole um, leave a gap which creates the hole and then stitch the other side um, it's single crochet all the way around for a border so for the border I'm going to work backwards I think so for the border um, all the edging um, is this um, kind of gold colour which is just used for the edging and I used it on the back for one row which is this row here I'll go into the stitches at the end I think will be the easiest way to do it so um, the yarn I used predominantly for the for the edging uh, was um, Starcraft Special DK um, in the shade 1709 uh, which is gold um, and those of you that have been with me for a while will remember that um, Kelly which is I'm Yarn inspired on YouTube um, sent me this yarn so um, I will link her channel down in the uh, description or on the annotations at the end so if you see an extra face other than mine at the end um, oh, one of those will be Kelly's I'll probably do that because it's easier if you can just press click then can't you um, or I may do both who knows I never know myself till I actually go to do it um, so for the big stripe um, which is this colour which again is sort of a goldy colour um, this was I have to say of all the yarns I used this one was by far the nicest they're all nice yarns to, to, to use but this one I really really felt really lovely it's got like a it's quite a springy yarn you can't really tell that's all I've got left um, so this yarn was again uh, given to me by um, Kelly of I'm Yard Inspired. Um, it's Universal Yarn. It's Universal Yarn, Classic Worsted. Um, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Um, for those of you in America, it's a medium number four. Um, so that's all I've got left. Um, the colour was. Um, apricot nectar or 7016 and that's the label there um, so basically that whole section across took up near enough 100 gram ball so that took up quite a lot um, the special DK is 100% acrylic I think most of you know that but just in case you don't um, the stripe that I've done at the bottom here that's sort of a grey colour um, is the same on the front and the back and the reason I've chosen that you might seem an odd choice but I don't know if it's going to come out on camera but I don't know if you can see there is um, a metallic thread that goes through this and the metallic thread is the same colour as this yarn here um, so it doesn't look quite so out of place in person it's not coming up very well on camera but it is there I promise um, this yarn was given to me by the lovely Jan Carruthers. I know most of you will know Jan, um, but if you don't know who Jan is, uh, she's the matriarch of our, our little uh, crochet and knitting community. Um, and I will obviously link her um, channel down in the description and at the end as well. I'll probably do both. So this is the yarn. Oh, oh there you go. I can see it on that one a little bit more. See if you can see there's a metal thread thread there we go it's focusing now there we go as you can see there's a metallic thread through that now that, that's the same color as the up the next yarn that I'm going to show you so and I apologize my washing machine's about to go into spin sod's law my friend put the washing machine on forgetting I was going to record and there's no way to stop it so I'm really sorry about the background uh, noise this time you know I don't normally have that so um, I apologize um, anyway, so this yarn was called Glitz and Glam Double Knitting. It's a 200 gram ball. 97% um, acrylic, 3% Lurux. That's how you pronounce it, I hope. And the colour was colour number 9. Colour number. So, that's all that bits and bobs in case you need them. Um, yeah, so this one Jan donated. Um, it was really nice to work with again. Um, no particular issues with it. So just a standard, you know, sort of acrylic yarn, really. Um, 
And then the last uh, yarn is also donated, donated, I can't seem to talk today. I feel like I've got false teeth in even though they're all my own. Weird. Um, so, um, this yarn, uh, the, um, the Glitz and Glam I used one 200 gram ball. The Universal yarn I used one 100 gram ball. Uh, the Starcraft I used about half, half of 100 gram balls, about 50 grams roughly. And then I've used five of this yarn, which some of you will remember that Jane sent me a while back, with Mary Maxim Starlet, Starlet, and it's the worsted weight. Woo! Camera didn't like that, did it? There we go, worsted weight. Um, again, it's a, a medium size four for those of you in America, and it's 180 yards per hundred grams, and the colour is six eight. 4.609 camel. It's a bit of a long number, isn't it? Oh, don't want to focus that one. I have to take my word for it, but it's called camel anyway, so six sorry. 284.609. Case you need it. Um so I've used five balls of this um in this poncho. So it's all the all the that set of yarns that um, Jan sent me so I just thought by making a poncho it was going to be something that was going to be something that somebody could wear I'm not really I've not masked I've done a couple of um, jumpers but um, and I've started a cardigan that I haven't finished but I'm not really I'm not I'm not like Jan I, I just I really struggle to make clothing it's still something I'm trying to conquer so this is my first ever poncho I've made um, I just thought it would be something that somebody could wear that would be really, really, um, you know, warm and, um, I sort of, I've tried to do it sort of unisex colours so it can be for a bloke or a woman. Um, so stitch wise, basically this is a repeating pattern, um, you do the first 12 rows and then you repeat rows 3 to 12 over and over again until you get to the last four rows and then you just repeat rows 3 to 6. So it's actually a very very simple pattern once you've got the hang of it. I just want to say a special thank you to uh, Sean from Sean's Crafty Corner and to Kelly from I, I'm Yarn Inspired and to Amy as well. Amy did try and help me as well um, from uh, Amy's Woolly World of Creations. Um, I just want to say thank you ladies because I was a bit lost. Now the pattern um, calls for, now this is where I'm going to get caught out because I know the American terminology, this pattern is in U uh, US terminology which most of you will know, I tend to work in American terminology more than UK. It's a double, it works in, um, it's mainly double crochets, um, most of the pattern is double crochets in US terms which is trebles in UK terms. Um, but there are some front post and back post double treble crochets that is US terms and I meant to look it up before I um, turn the camera on what they were in UK terms and I didn't so what I will do is I will put them up across the screen here somewhere um, to let you know what they are in UK terms because I know it's annoying if you can't translate very easily it's not very often I do that stitch so I kind of you know I haven't really learnt the UK terminology um, so basically, um, the rows basically go, you do two rows of straight double crochet, treble crochet in the UK, um, sort of like here and here, and then this, this stitch here is actually a front post, um, double crochet, and what you had to do was you did two stitches, and then you go, you skip two stitches, put two stitches in, double crochet, treble crochet UK terms um, and then you had to go back round the last missed stitch and put that uh, double treble in. Um, so I took, uh, well Sean was the one that figured it out and uh, I think Kelly did as well, I can't remember, sorry Kelly, it's been a long week. Um, so um, once I got my head round it, it's just the way the pattern, the only thing I would say the pattern was wasn't written terribly clearly because it didn't say it just said double uh, front post double treble round the missed stitch 
but you missed two stitches and it didn't tell you that it needed to be in the row below so if you do decide to do this pattern just be aware that you need to look out for that because that really confused me because it wasn't written out very well um, that's my only real criticism with this um, pattern um, the next row which creates um, this stitch here this bit going across which links onto the first uh, double treble is a back post double treble um, that's a lot easier because uh, there was no confusion in the way it was written then you do two straight rows of double crochet UK, uh, US terms um, and then the next row um, basically you do two stitches skip two uh, it skip two two stitches skip one and then you crochet around the previous two stitches that you've done so you actually crochet around do a double crochet around the stitches and then that pattern repeats you a couple of times and that's basically it so it sounds terribly terribly complicated and once you've got your head around the front post double crochet that it needs to go in a missed stitch from the row below uh, which the pattern doesn't clearly state um, it's actually a very simple pattern um, I wouldn't say it's probably I would say it's certainly intermediate level I wouldn't say um, if you're very very new to crochet you would probably find it a little bit confusing but if you want to challenge yourself then you know it might be worth doing um, just got to be aware of that the row below bit um, so that's it so that's the finished job I can't see what I'm showing on camera because I can't see through the poncho so hopefully I'm getting it all on camera um, yeah so the back's plain I had to play yarn chicken and I basically lost <laughs> and the reason I lost um, well I added um, the apricot worsted weight yarn in here um, and I didn't have enough to do a second row which I was hoping and didn't there wasn't enough of the um, glitz and glam yarn to do another row either which I was hoping it would um, so I put some of the gold style craft in here which is the front post double crochets and then on the very, I ran out of yarn I'd literally had one row one row um, that I needed of the starlet and of course I didn't have any so what I did is I've cheated a little bit and you'll probably notice that I did a row of the gold uh, special DK um, on the final row and then because I've bordered it it doesn't really look too obvious I don't think I don't know see what you think what's the front what's the back it's not glaringly obvious so hopefully I've got away with that um, so surprise surprise this will be going to woolly hugs no great surprise there um, this was all done for charity so I've just got to sew my ends in now just got to remember to do it I made myself do it tonight um, I still haven't finished the stupid butterfly which um, I've got a real mental block with so I'm going to try really really hard to do that and the unicorn um, so they will probably be the next two videos coming up um, oh excuse me um, I don't know whether I'm going to, I'm going to try and get another video up this week, um, but I do have to take my friend to, um, an appointment, um, tomorrow, uh, yeah, we've got, we've got, we've just got quite a few appointments at the minute, so, um, it's just a practicality of not being able to sit and crochet very much, so, um, please bear with me, I'm hoping in a couple of weeks everything's going to settle down. Uh, my mum feels fractionally better today, um, so we're just waiting to see. Um, we did try and get the doctor to call her yesterday, but um, I rang up for a call back and they didn't call. So, not very impressed. Um, and uh, on top of everything, all the appointments and everything, um, I've actually had a bit of a stomach bug. I've not been vomiting, but I've, yeah, you don't need any more details than that, do you? But, um, so I've been pretty unwell. Um, today's been the first day I've been relatively okay, but I'm getting a lot of cramp and stuff. So I still don't feel very well. I've just been eating toast the last 24 hours. I'm so bored of toast. But it's about the only thing that doesn't seem to be triggering it off. So, um, yeah. So I've not been terribly well. My mum's not been well. My friends had issues going on. So <laughs> it's the full house, I think. Um, yeah, there's nothing much else going on. Um, like I said, I've posted the giveaway parcels today. Uh, today's Wednesday. 
hoping I'm going to be able to get this edited and uploaded on the same day but it might be going up on Thursday I don't know um, just see how time goes later um, yeah I don't know I will try and get another video up later in the week I just can't guarantee it so um, just please bear with me over the next couple of weeks um, you guys know I normally work really hard on my channel it's just uh, being a carer not being well my mum not being well it's just all been quite stressful um, and my mum has dogs that have to be walked and stuff as well so that's taken up some of my time um, yeah I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you I don't think there is um, so yeah <laughs> my brain's really not working today <laughs> um, it's been it's been a long day so sort of struggling a bit to sort of think what I need to be doing um, you anyway, know machine's about to go in hyper mode so before that gets any louder and hopefully you can hear me through all this um i'm going to wrap it up here because it's already a 20 minute video and i don't like doing long ones because uh, your time is as precious as mine i do know but i do appreciate you watching um and so until next time remember to stay well happy crafting and remember until next time to stay true to yourself bye